Hello friends, this is Cold Run back with Mass Effect 2. We are here in the Relic System, uh, where I'm going to hop around a bit and try to finish this place off, because last time we only saw a little bit of it. So first we got this beautiful... Oh god, I love this. Is, this may be my favorite color uh, planet in all of Mass Effect. Um, Praying Mouth... A hydrogen helium gas giant, Praying Mouth is a ship-killing enigma, the Bermuda Triangle of the Terminus system, so its beauty is a trap. There are many theories why ships never return from there. Undetectable space debris, old disruptor torpedoes, and magnetic mines from a long-forgotten war. Even miniature black holes, that sounds not likely. But what is clear is that too many ships have been lost there for it to be happenstance. Travel Advisory. Due to the large number of ships lost when attempting to discharge their drive cores in Praying Mouth, the Relic System highly recommends using First Land's complementary discharge stations instead. Uh, no, screw that. Let's explore it. I, I'm, I'm a, honestly a little bit disappointed. I was kind of hoping that there would be a... Um, I was kind of hoping that there would be um, like a, a mission on here and that we'd get to explore, because that's a cool thing to tease. I know it's at moderate, but I'm getting the E zero. Right next is this little, little nugget here. Ooh, rough tide. What's with the naming on this place? Is this all based on like, are these all pulp novels? These all have to be pulp novels, right? A dwarf planet with a shroud of carbon monoxide and dioxide that keeps it warm. Rough Tide was so named when large veins of platinum and palladium were struck and miners from all over the cluster came in to stake their claims. I guess not. Never mind. Hanar police and their Drell enforcers... I want to see a Hanar police. Um, clashed with Krogan and Vorche in an ugly series of race riots. Maybe I don't want to see Hanar police. In the late 2170s and the planet has only grudgingly kept a shaky peace since then. Next up, and this is a, again, this is a, another system where some of the bigger planets are closer to the star. We got Island Wind. God, this is the, I, this is my favorite system, and so favorite um, system in the game. Not because it's especially great, but the names are all top-notch. So Island Wind is a large hydrogen-nitrogen gas giant named for the sweet-smelling land breezes that come off their archipelagos of Kaje in the evening. As tumultuous as any other Jovian giant, island wind has cyclones that span tens of thousands of kilometers. I'm just trying to process that. What a what an image. It's like beyond my ability to really take in in my brain or, or just un understand a tens of thousands. I guess it's like a hurricane. Uh, just hurricanes all over the place. Um, all right, next we got the ringed green first land. A hydrogen-helium gas giant believed to be an extrasolar capture, another one of those. First Land is home to many space stations supporting the ubiquitous refueling platforms. A thriving community of Drell and Hanar make their homes in, the, in orbit here, giving the solar system's robo-miners somewhere to go when the 50-hour days and nights are driving them mad. Robo, it gives the robo-miners somewhere to go when the days are driving them mad? Are these robots with, like... Are these, these aren't, these can't be AI. Why would the, I feel like I'm misunderstanding this. Thriving community drill and Hanar make their homes, giving the solar systems robo miners somewhere to go. So robo miners must be just a term for people who are mining robos or something. I can't imagine that those are automated, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, okay. And we got, looks like two more. We got this dull looking fitful current. Fitful current was so named because it orbits in retrograde, indicating that it may have been, I'm trying to think of why the naming system is familiar, but it almost f sounds like they're named by like rogue, like the, almost like Rogaden names from Final Fantasy 14. But that, I was trying to remember if it was a Final Fantasy, if it was the Rogaden or if it was a Mass Effect thing, but I think I'm thinking of Rogaden naming conventions. Like, I wouldn't... It would be very easy to imagine, like, a Rogaden character in that game, in that world, named, like, Fitful Current, or some of these names. Um, okay. It orbits in retrograde. 
indicating that what does orbiting in retrograde mean? Is that like do planets normally orbit one direction and this orbits like counterclockwise or whatever the equivalent of it is, is like it orbits in a different direction than usual? Um, okay, indicating it may have been an extrasolar planet captured by the relic system's gravity well. Large for a rock planet, Fitful Current has only traces of hydrogen in its extremely thin atmosphere. Hanar Robo Miners have recovered some uranium and thorium deposits from its depths. Now that makes it really seem like Robo Miners are just robot miners. And then one more. This little thing. It's not that little, it's actually pretty big for something so close to this. Murky water, that's gorgeous. That's a pure blue planet, blue and white. This is an Azorius planet. Despite the name, murky water, or it's, it's either, maybe it just splashes some white in there. It's mostly blue. Um, despite the name, murky water has yet to show any signs of having water whatsoever. Oh. Its name is a literal translation from the original Hanar, who consider murky water a sign of danger. Oh, that makes sense. Like, because it's like, it's like a, the Han, it's like an underwater creature's equivalent of like, the fog rolling in or a stark and stormy night. Murky water has a hazy, crushing atmosphere of carbon dioxide and methane, which brings the surface heat to boiling levels. It remains unexploited, its gravity and temperature too high to bother. Let's see if we can exploit, yep, we can exploit the shit out of this. Okay, and so I'm out of probes now, but I don't really feel the need, I've already, it's, I've been plumbing it as good, good for a while. I don't really feel the need to keep going, uh, like to go to, to keep going to the point where I leave, buy more, and come back here. I'd rather I'm, I'm okay cutting my losses here. So that's relic. Um, is that the last in this system in this uh, nebula? I think that is. I think that's the last of the nebula. I think it's time to leave. I'm just back here at the citadel for a quick pit stop to see if there's something I want to spend my money on because I remember there's a lot of good shit here. Heavy pistol damage, submachine gun. Let's get heavy pistol damage, because that's me, and I'm important. Squad bonus plus 10% heavy pistol damage. Hand pistols, heavy pistols, and hand cannons. Let's get it. I'll take it. And what else? I think I want to pr less prioritize these because they're just, like, these aren't pure upgrades. I think these are all pure upgrades, right? Sniper rifle, that's kind of an interesting one. Let's get the sniper rifle and one, and one more. The incisor is a one of a wa new wave of military and police sniper rifles designed to overload active defensives such as shields. Firing three shots with each pull of the trigger, the incisors bursted so fast that all three rounds will be in the target by the time the barrel has moved a millimeter, increasing its stopping power without sacrificing accuracy. That's terrifying. As an added benefit, the noise of the burst is comparable to a single rifle shot in duration making it no easier to lo easier to locate the sniper by sound. So let's get this, and let's get the sniper rifle damage. Increases damage by 20%. Improves sniper rifle... Wait, what? This is just saying it's... When it says increases... this Because the, the wording is weird. The wording makes it seem like increases damage by 20%. In addition, it improves sniper rifles for your entire squad, but this just improves sniper rifle damage by 20%. It must, it must. I'm not even worried about this that. This looks interesting. <clears throat> okay. Glad we got that. Back to the ship we go. So are there, and did, did upgrading those improve anything or give me access to anything new? Yes. Now I can make AP sniper rifle. I don't know what AP stands for in this case. Increases damage by 50% against armor. Improves sniper rifles for the entire squad. Increasing the tungsten content of slugs and recalibrating the com weapon's computer greatly improves penetration against heavily armored targets. Is tungsten actually used in weapons at all these days? Like as, ar as or is that just a sci-fi thing? Okay. What do I need for this? I need one more heavy pistol damage upgrade. Okay, so I'll keep an eye out for that. And, uh, god damn it. I was about to get tricked again by advanced training. Um. These look pretty neat. But we're not there yet. 
So, what now? We could do the convict, but I think I don't want to. I think I'd rather do these side things. So let's go to the KPEC. Let's let's follow up that line that we opened up last time. Han Kedar facility on planet KPEC in the Haskins system, Titan Nebula. Seems to be the source of the VI virus that has infected mechs and mech parts all over the sector. Stopping the production line is key to ending the outbreak. No messages for you, Commander. Thank you, Kelly. So, mass relay. Where's Titan? Titan's over here. Ow, oh, I'm burning. I guess I'm not actually traveling just yet. Never mind. What is in the center of this? What's in the center of the Milky Way? What's the thing that makes it so bright in the middle? Um... I can't see where to go for Titan. Where's Titan? Go away, Hourglass. Oh, there you are. Way on the outskirts. Wow. Okay. Haskins. So, kind of a... Wait. Are there other... No. This is a, a single system nebula. That's weird. Maybe more will open up later. Uh, Alright, let's check out the, the Haskins system. Actually, there's not much to check out here, is there? It's really just... Oh, you know what? I'll bet this wasn't even open to me, available for me to explore until I got this quest. I'll bet that this is only basically exists just for this quest. Alright. K-Pack. I'll bet you have. Baked in the fierce heat of a white sun. k -Pack, What is this? Is this? It feels like it's written by... Uh, oh, by... What the hell is his name? <clears throat> Varric. This feels like it's written by Bar Varric. This feels like the continuation of his pulp stories. Baked in the fierce heat of a white sun. I'm Capec is a rocky, waterless world, wrapped in a haze of regret and ethane. Sulfur and iron gave give yellowish and black tinges to much of the planet's set surface. No registered settlements appear in the records, so there are clearly metallic anomalies that indicate roofed structures. So... Wait. I thought this was like a registered Han Kadar thing. A Han Kadar facility on planet Capex. So maybe this is a secret Han Kadar facility? Or maybe it's just automated and it's not really intended for habitation? Because Han Kadar isn't like a secret pirate group. It's like an actual company. And I mean, I thought so. Experimental mechanics facility. Scans have found something. Surface scan detects mech production facility matching the registration parameters of Han Kedar Corporation. Facility reports emergency lockdown at this location. Personnel scans report no living beings detected. Hazard scans show a large number of virus-infected mechs quarantined within the facility. The activation of the primary production line controls should disrupt the creation of additional infected mechs. Let's do it. But why did they get... Was it just randomly a virus spread, or was this something more sinister? And how much easier will I farm before I go find out? I've been trying to figure out which gun to go with again, and I've decided I'm going to give up. I've, I've pushed all the buttons. I really can't figure out any way to see stats or toggle stats to see, like, even in a general way, like, what's better than the other. Um... <clears throat> I just have no idea. I really just don't know. So, I guess I'll just pick the lowest on the list. Because apparently it doesn't matter. Um, or maybe it does matter and the game's just being a super secret squirrel about it. I, I really don't know. If any advice on this would be much appreciated. So this is the secret mech production facility. Let's see what's up. I'm expecting a bunch of mechs. Wild, I know. 
bull depends on this uh, on this video only. Enemies inbound. Heads up. Pack down next. Uh. Got oh. Fenris mix they said. Kill oh, you were a mech too. I thought you were a person. Perfect. Um, hmm. Okay. Ammo. Yeah, so we have to go through the door. Okay. You died. Okay, so that's the progress way. What's in here? Med kit. Oh, god damn it. What was that? Was that me? I don't think so. I think that was something from the outside. All right. MX75 Type 24A OPU recall notice. Something processing unit? Obedience processor unit. Oh, uh oh. Our new circuit board, attention all personnel, our new circuit board supplier has issued an immediate recall on the obedience processor, which has been found to cause systemic breakdown of associated components. We have begun the search for a new supplier. In the meantime, we'll discontinue use of it until further notice. Jana, just FYI. Just FYI, heads up, quick heads up, we lost contact with the Corsica. After you expressed concern, I checked the logs, and indeed, the mechs and parts they picked up contained the recalled OPUs. We know the Corsica was headed for Jarahe Station in the Strabo system, but we can't seem to contact them. I hope they're all okay. They were not. But I think we've done all we can do at this point. Dr. Talarassin. I'm getting reports of mechs coming off our production lines and assaulting workers. Some of them seem to be self-destructing at random. Even units not initially installed with the faulty OPU are showing signs of viral infection. We're looking at a potential facility-wide catastrophe here. We are containing this as best we can, but we can't keep this suppressed much longer. Doctor, When Dr. Rochelle learns about this, heads will roll. Mine will not be one of them. Yeah, Dr. Rochelle is the director. At least director of... no, director of the Department of Experimental Mechanics. <clears throat> Facility lockdown. Dr. Rochelle has ordered a complete lockdown. You're hereby ordered to seal the production line access corridor from the rest of the facility. I realize that doing this will seal me and any workers who remain inside with the malfunctioning mechs. This does not affect your order. It does, it's been an honor to work with you. Chief Saunders. Noble Chief Saunders. What was that? Wall safe. Let's hack. Needle, gap, dreidel. Oh, this is going to be tougher. Needle, gap, dreidel. Dreidel. Needle gap, phone phone, needle gap gap, needle needle. Thirty-seven fifty credits. All right, let's uh, see what horrifying mechs are here. Deserted. Wonder if anyone's still here. I'm guessing they are. Power cell. Ooh, power cells. Oh, no, they're down there. Oh. Are they down there? Where are they? Did I get them from up here? I don't know. That was weird. Data pad. Dr. Talarassin located. I've located the Asari Dr. Talarassin in the production line access corridor. We set up a barricade and disabled access to the rest of the corridor. So this is to protect it? Protect Dr. Talarassin? Yeah, Okay. Chief, I secured Dr. Talarassin, and I'm heading to the, into the warehouse to secure to access the production line control room. I'll update you once I'm in. I'll gamble. Warehouse breached. Chief, I'm in the warehouse. It seems pretty empty. Sir? It pretty, seems pretty empty, sir. I can see the control room just above the storage area. I might need a few minutes, but I'm pretty sure I can get the main production line shut down. Uh, it looks like... I don't know if you did or not. Not sure. Was there a thing I was I'm missing? I thought I saw something pop up here. They've seen us. So they can self-destruct. I also saw um, by a, a shield on them. So let me switch um, back to the locust. 
Get over here. Oh. Where and oh, there's enemies. Uh, get hacked. I guess it's not super useful to hack them when they're the only one there. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, overload is fantastic right here. Big fan of overload right... Oh, gosh. Uh, I don't think we could shoot that. No, the production line was not shut down, it looks like. Okay, so we're doing okay. No shields, but who needs shields? Shields are for losers. Where... Ooh, got ammo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. So once I hack them, the shields go up. That's really interesting. Data pad. Oh, no, the data pad is the one up there. Right, okay. So this is the thing I got before just from up there. That was a weird that I was able to collect it from all the way up top. Anyway. We've been spotted. Requesting assistance. I am combat systems engaged. Oh, oh shit. Crap. Oh, did you see that punch? I think that was my first good punch all, all like, series. Crap. <laughs> I know, it's really, it's, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, no god, oh god. Stop whapping. Um. Oh, wait. Right. I have a batch going. Not difficult. Oh, you just keep coming, don't you? Rerouting power. Backup systems engaged. <laughs> it's so much fun. Oh shit. Come on up. Impact event. Got him. Hostiles detected. Detection. Yeah, like this is when I want to use hack. Impact event. Oh, you're still alive. Where are you? Uh, yeah. I oh, shit. I wonder if headshots matter. I guess headshots matter for these guys also. <clears throat> wow, there's just so many of them. I wonder if there's like an infinite production line pumping them out. They can't be. They can't be made that fast. Jesus, you friggin' persistence. Uh, let's get Shotgun Boy over there. Yeah, every time I move my troops, I feel like they just all end up dying. Oh, right. Unity. It keep. I keep forgetting that Unity is not R2, R1, as it tells me. Um... Wait, is he still dead? No, I never used it. Ah. 
You guys just, you need to stop. There we go. Let's keep on moving up. I feel like there is some production line now because there's just there's just so many of these. So I want to keep that kind of almost on cooldown. My first priority in these, I don't know if it should be Overload or the Drone. Probably, probably the Drone, because the Drone at least is defensive, it like distracts them. I guess the Drone, if it's going to be a group of them, Overload, no, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Both are good. Uh, heal up, heal up, heal up. Alright, what's in here? Any goodies? Refined element zero. Thank you. That's basically useless. I mean, 175 is not much, I mean. Okay. Up and over here. More E0. Tons of E0. Huh. Oh, these both go the same place. Okay. Production line shut down. So that's what they were trying to get to before and they never made it. Uh, let's do it. All right, orange, blue, orange, blue. Orange, blue, orange, blue. No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. White, orange, blue, or blue and an orange sandwich, basically. I think is that one blue line? One blue line and an orange sandwich? White and then an orange block. No, that wasn't it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, goodbye, friends. Well, that's good. Uh, shut down the Han Kadar facility, ex uh, experimental mechanics facility, production line on KPEC. Deactivated all infected mechs. We got basically no experience, which is weird to me. Um, okay. Complete Mass Effect 2 and receive a bonus of 25% experience for all your characters. Oh, that's like, that's like, you mean like if you play it a second time, you get that leveling bonus? That makes sense. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you again from Martin Burns. Commander Shepard, Udina said this would reach you. I wanted you to know that I haven't forgotten what you did for me the day those biotics took me hostage. You talked them down and you got me out of the chip alive. I remember you. I won't lie to you. I took this job for the pull and power. I saw the biotics issue as a stepping stone. Something good to put on my resume, and I was wrong. We all serve humanity in our own way. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm going to see that to it that humanity reaches its potential with a minimum of bloodshed. I'm getting letters of thanks from L2 Biotics who just received their reparations. Go you! Go go, Martin Burns! Um, those letters should be really becoming to you. I just thought you should know. Good luck. I've taken some political heat, so I don't know that any offer to help you would ever be useful. But if you need me, I won't let you down. Martin Burns, Chairman, Subcommittee for Transhuman Studies. Go, Martin. That's a, a nice little turnaround. Um, so where to now? We could do... I think it's basically... I basically want to do anything that's not the convict, because I want to take care of as many side stuff quests as possible. So let's see what other systems we can go to. Where's the mass relay? Over there.
Mega Nebula Omega. Let's just go here. I don't know. Sure. I didn't even see what it was. I saw there was a new place, and the interface to see what I'm clicking on is a little bit confused in this game. Chandra Chandrasekhar. Chandrasekhar? I do not... I know zero Hindi if this is related to Hindi, so apologies. Um, so what... This is the Hawking Ada system. So I'm guessing that these are all scientists, that Chandrasekhar, Schwarzschild, Ver... I'm guessing those are all scientists in some way. Physicists, maybe. Um... Let's just start there. Let's start at, at Ver. That's the place with the Firewalker Artifact Collection. Let's start there. And this is another small... Oh, no. Never mind. There's a couple of things. All right. Sarau. Sarau is a... Is this like a Portuguese scientist? Sarau is a standard... Or Brazilian, maybe? Standard hydrogen helium gas giant. Its most f obvious features are a pair of gigantic storm cells, one in the northern hemisphere and one in the southern hemisphere, one in the south. While richer in helium-3 than Elusa, the difficulties of extraction from Sarau's gravity well and stormy atmosphere led to the other gas giant's development. Sarau has over 80 moons, ranging, ranging from a radius of 80, 50 to 2,000 kilometers. That's quite a range. The Asari Tersicore Council has established an observation post on one of the larger moons to study the planet's twin storm systems. All right, that's Sorau. And we got Korang over there. Let's check this out first, though. Alusa. Alusa is a small, dense ice giant with high concentrations of water, ammonia, and methane. A few automated helium-3 fuel stations have been established to refuel the ore freighters shuttling to and from Korang. Okay. So, yeah, those are the twin planets. But not twin, but comparable. Uh, is there something out there? It looks like there's something just to the side of it. Maybe that's where we're going? I have no, detected an anomaly. Okay, Korang. Initial surveys of Korang noted its high density and active plate tectonics, suggesting a high internal heat fueled by a greater than normal concentration of heavy elements and radioactives. Early test cores proved the mineral richness of the world, but distance from the mass relay in the Sentry system made it unprofitable to develop until late 2183. The atmosphere is a smog of methane, ammonia, and water vapor, a so-called primordial soup similar to the conditions of early Earth. Interesting. Um, however, there is no evidence of life developing on Korang's surface beyond the, sim the level of simple dextroamino acids. Amino acids? Amino? I don't know. The minimal energy input of the red dwarf Ver have created an energy-starved surface environment, though the planet's volcanism does, does hold open some possibility for subterranean development. So what's here, then? Oh. No message, just a booping. Probe launched. I have found something. Scans have found locations matching the descriptions of Dr. Case's survey sites. Exploring the sites could reveal pr valuable mission data. Geth presence detected on planet's surface. Use extreme caution. Okay. So that's going to be it for me for this session. Thank you for watching. Next time we will head down to the planet Korang and follow up the trail of Dr. Case. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.